Hey, what's going on everybody? James Dieter is finally back with a new video. I have been gone for about two weeks now because I have nothing to show off, but I actually do have things to show off, which would be every ghastly that I have from Mischief Toys in my collection. I have about 16 of them. I think I made a video on the Gargoyle Ghastly from NYCC um, last year sometime, I think. But I have, like I said, 16 of them that I could be doing a video on every single day. So I decided to make this video on the Toxic Ghastly that they made a few months ago. This shirt and this hat actually glow under a black light, which is super, super dope. And here is the box. It is limited to 405 pieces. The side is super, super cool because it looks like he is in um, a toxic wasteland. And on the back, they have special um, a special box for each figure that they come out with. And it says, Gasly had an accident. He fell into a vat of toxic waste, and now he has a bright green glow. That's not so bad, right? Imagine the mischief that Ghastly will get into in his new putrid state. Super, super cool how they they just started adding these um, on their boxes a few months ago, which is really, really cool. Another added detail to the boxes, which I love. But yeah, this is Mischief Toys Ghastly from Chris and Heather from the Ghastly Cast. If you guys have not checked the check them out you probably should because every figure they have made goes for $150 or more some figures go for like four five six hundred dollars because they are so limited and this is the toxic ghastly who glows under the black light which I do not have a black light with me and plus it is light outside so he would not probably light up but this is so cool how he's got the little the slimy ooze falling off of him and on this figure, they started putting the Mischief Toys logo on all of their figures. I think this was the first one that they started putting that logo on their figures. I know um, I have a Tiki Ghastly that I was going to do a video on. His um, logo is on the bottom of the foot, I think. But yeah, this is Toxic Ghastly, limited to 405 pieces. And I was lucky enough to grab him before he sold out, because this one sold out pretty, pretty fast. I think less than five minutes this guy sold out. And now you can't find them for less than probably 200 bucks on eBay. Because they're regularly priced at $55, I think. And if they're bigger figures, they're $65 or $75. But the normal size, I think these are 4-inch figures, they are $55 plus um, shipping. I think the shipping is like $10 or $12, so... You're only spending like 70 something dollars on an amazing figure like this guy. I just love Mischief Toys so much. Uh, they have a podcast that they've been doing for the last um, four or five weeks telling you how they first became a company. And I'm just loving it because I guess Chris was in bed one night at a, after 11 o'clock drawing stuff. And this is the guy he came up with. And it has taken so many years to have that figure made because they're, it is being made in China, I think, or Japan. China, I think, is being made, so it takes a while for them to ship it over here to the United States. So, yeah, I'm just uh, loving these figures. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 figures in all. Well, actually, three of the figures are the same, but the boxes are different. And it sounds like I am one of maybe three or four people that have every single uh, box ever made and figure made. The only figures I'm missing are a proto, a proto and an artist print. And actually, the narrator who narrates their videos um, signed a few boxes a few months ago, which I did not get lucky enough to get one of those. But yeah, a proto and an artist proof are the only two figures I'm actually missing. 
but you have to uh, get lucky enough to have them be put into one of your t-shirt orders or sometimes they just stick one in with one of your regular guest orders which is super super cool and sometimes they sign some boxes um, the Tiki Gasly they did not sign any but the Pride Gasly they signed 25 of which I did not get but I own three signed boxes which I ordered off of eBay I think I probably spent close to four thousand dollars on every single one of these amazing figures because I've only gotten this one skeleton and oh the Pride and the Tiki those are the only four that I've actually gotten lucky enough to buy as they were going live and the other ones I missed but, but yeah um, I don't know how many of my um, subscribers actually watch the Gasocast because I know some people do not like their negative comments or they always talk negatively about Funko but I think that's pretty cool how they actually tell you how they feel and they're not all happy happy go lucky about Funko because I haven't bought a Funko Pop for, I can't even tell you how long. And I'm kind of proud of myself because I am in debt because I have bought over five, 600 Funko Pops in the last however many years, five or six years since they've been out. So I have cut down drastically, so I am really, really proud of myself. Like I said, the last ones I probably bought were from Dave's um, charity auction, which was back in what, um, not June. April or May, I think. And then I bought a couple from the Pop and Duos um, charity auction because they were giving all their money to the um, Ronald McDonald House. I bought a soda and a, a Star Wars customized pop. And those are the last things I ordered. But I do like some of the things that are coming out for San Diego Comic Con. Those two Hunter Hunter pops look really, really awesome. The one with the really, really tall hair that reminds me of Jimmy Neutron. That looks really cool. I might look into getting that just because of the box itself because it's the first time ever we've had a box that tall. Oh no, actually no. There was a the AT-AT -AT from Star Wars. I think that box was a tall box like that, I think. But yeah, I'm, I like that one. And I like the butterfly one from uh, Hunter x Hunter as well. And the Tony Tiger looks pretty cool on the surfboard, but I do not collect ad icons. I mean, I have maybe three ad icons in my collection, but they're the ones that are only like 10, 15 bucks at the, at the most. But, but yeah, this shirt is super, super cool. I actually have a sticker with the same logo on it. Well, it doesn't say Mr. Toys, it just has this logo on it. But it is on the back of my iPad, which I am using now. But uh, yeah, this is my new passion that I love to collect. And I will continue to collect every single figure that they make until they stop making them, which they do not plan on stopping anytime soon. So they have a drop sometime at the end of July. Um, Heather said it is a horror, horror themed Ghastly, which she created herself. She also created this one for Valentine's Day. The Love, um, the Valentine's Day Ghastly, which was 214 pieces because 214 is February 14th for. Valentine's Day, which was super sick. That sold out in probably less than a minute or two. But yeah, this is a really amazing company, and I just uh, love hearing how it started, or how they started as a company. And actually, they just posted a new uh, podcast on YouTube, because they posted on YouTube so you can watch it, or you can listen to it on any podcast um, uh, app, they said. So I will go listen to that right after I'm done with this video. So I hope you all stayed and watched this video. Because I know there are a ton of uh, Mischief Toys fans out there. Because this is just a super cool figure. And he's got a really awesome backstory. And it sounds like there's a bad guy coming out called Demonstro sometime in the near future. By the end of the year, they said. So I cannot wait to see that. It's supposed to be the tallest figure that they have made. They have a plush Ghastly coming out. Actually, they said they have three Ghastlies coming out. They have a Common and two other ones. I think one of them might glow in the dark, and they, they did not say what the other one was. So I cannot wait to see pictures of those. And they said they're in the and they're making new molds, too, they said. 
So maybe Gasly will get a girlfriend eventually, which would be kind of cool to see a female version of that character. But uh, yeah, I guess I will shut up now since it is a 10 minute video. It's just been two weeks since I made a video and I really, really miss making videos. The last video, I, the last two videos I've actually made has gotten me over 45 views. And I never ever usually get 45 views on a video unless it is my um, collector swap box. My collector swap boxes get over 60 something views because there are usually 30 or more people in the swaps. But uh, yeah, or if I happen to buy a mystery box, those are the two videos that usually get me the most views. But uh, yeah, just uh, thank you for sticking with me. I know I don't post all the time, like I said. But maybe I will continue to make videos on all of my Gastly's because they are so dope and so creative on just the stuff that they have come out with in the last couple years. It's just really, really cool. And for every drop, they have either a shirt, they have two shirt versions. There's another version with, a, with the oval logo with, with just the head and Mischief Toys on it. And they always come out with a hat. But the, the one they're dropping at the end of the month, they're only going to have two shirt versions to choose from. And they're not going to have hats. Um, Heather just said on their um, live stream last night. So, But yeah, for every drop, they usually drop... Uh, pin bundle which they've been doing the last probably three or four drops which I'm not a pin collector so I do not buy those but uh oh no here it is this is the sticker right here I just got this one with my shirt this is the other sticker this is what this other shirt looks like with this logo on it it does say Mr. Toys and this sticker is holographic I have all the stickers that they have come out with for the boxes inside the box actually I don't stick them on anything and they all come with one of these, uh, one of these little cards that says Mr. Toys. Love your new Mr. Toy. No, this is for the merch because it says if you like it, post it on their um, Instagram. But yeah, if you ever have a problem with your order, you just uh, email them and they get right back to you because they are an awesome company. And it is so awesome that only two people are running this company, and that they are so successful. And I hope they're. Success continues. So, I will shut up now because this is almost a 13 minute video. So, I hope you all have a good rest of your week since today is Monday as I am filming this. And just thank you for watching. So, until next time, this is James Dieter telling everyone out there to have an awesome day.